Hello YouTube, I'm back with another credit video. First video of the year. Um, Y'all know I suffered a roadblock that set me back a few months because I did not know that, you know, when I was getting my teeth done, Um, if you follow me on my personal channel, you know everything about that. Um, But it negatively impacted my credit report. I was supposed to be at 700 by the end of 2020. And, you know, it did not work out that way. No, 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 no. So let me take y'all back, honey. So here we go. So y'all can see, and it actually goes back further than this. But once again, they only give you like a four-month timeline. But I was sitting at um five... 80 and i think that that's the last time i did my um video was like september i think i did a video explaining how my credit score went down so y'all have already seen that but this is the progression of what happened afterwards so dump 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 dun, 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 dun. and then i finally got a jump i'm going to show y'all what caused this jump from 569 to 642 and then I got another jump again. Same thing for my Equifax. So now we're going to click on see what's changed. And yeah, I have been using more of my credit card usage. Don't y'all blame me, honey. I have gotten towards the max stop version but this is what really done it for oh yep i about maxed out my credit cards y'all i'm paying them down oh this is the dentist bill though this is the one that is at three thousand some odd dollars but i'm trying to show y'all what there we go january uh see the change january 4th so I opened up a trade line account and that's what increased my thing from $6,000 in available credit to 11,000 and just paying one payment made my thing jump up astronomically. Like once again, the proof is within the pudding. Oh, I think showing it. Yeah. Now y'all get to see where I was at. So. This is where I was at way back in July. I was at 621. And I was maintaining. Then I jumped up. This was around the time that the car, my car was reporting onto my credit score. And then this is when the uh medical bill got put on my credit score for my teeth. And that's where the time lapse has happened. So now I'm going to show y'all in more detail. So my credit age is terrible, but once again, I can't do nothing about that. That's just going to come with time. My credit card usage is at 48%. Uh, my payment history is at 90%. And the reason why I get this 90% payment history is because of my student loans that I fell behind on. As y'all can tell, this is the only thing I have on my credit report that is, and everything is on time now, but if I was to click on it, it shows you the dates that I missed my student loan payments. So those are the only reason why that is what it is, is because of the student loan payments that I owe, which I owe a total of 10000 three hundred dollars worth of student loans as y'all can tell and i paid off my private loans first and the reason why i did that was because i know i can you know keep pushing it you know with the federal student loans you can always keep a forbearance on they on this uh, stuff right here and i'm holding out hope for the darn on student loan forgiveness uh, so I focused on the um, the private student loans first and got those off my credit report. And like I said, with these late ones right here, it's still damaging me.
credit card usage $5,265 out of $11,000. So that is what's putting me at that right there. And I'm constantly paying this down so I don't have to worry about going into red. Um, we're slowly trickling down towards the 30s again. Um, the plan is for me to get another trade line for... Um, but once again, my money's funny right now. So as soon as I can do it, and then it's going to take upwards of 30 to 45 days for them to report. So my credit score is not looking to do another huge jump until like March. But my, what I'm planning on doing is getting a trade line for um, $10,000. And that will put me up at 21000 Now, by that time, I will also have paid off at least six hundred dollars worth of this no we're going to say i by that time i paid off at least a thousand dollars worth of this so i have forty two hundred dollars and sixty five cents worth of debt so four thousand two sixty five divided by twenty one thousand that would drop my credit score I mean, that would drop my uh, credit utilization to 20% because 4265 into 21000 uh, when that new trade line reports will put me right into this percentile. And going from the yellow to the green will then jump my credit score up astronomically. But right now, this is currently where I'm at. And this is actually the trade line that I got put on right here. So currently I'm using 1% of my credit limit. And this is from, ooh, where is it from? It's not New Coast Direct. This is from My Jewelers. So with My Jewelers Club, what I had to do was I had to um pay $99.00. And I'm sure uh, most of y'all probably heard of this by now. If not, here's what happened. Um, for $99, I set up an account. I had to purchase, um, I think $100 worth of jewelry. Yep, $100 worth of jewelry um, plus a $99 fee. So for $200, I got access to a $5,000 trade line to put on my report. Um, I instantly had to pay 50% down um, payment on that. And then I had to, you know, make my monthly payments. I, when it was all said and done, I owed sixty dollars. Um, so I made two thirty dollar payments. I've done since paid this off, but once again, this doesn't report until the first of the month. So um, my credit will probably do another jump again because this is about to go down to zero um, soon as it reports on February the first because I I paid off the remainder of this on January the eighth. So that is that. Here's what negatively affected me right here the most. Is that $3,000 credit um, line that I was extending through um, Genesis. And I'm paying that slowly down. So that's that. And it reports as a credit card. So what else I want to show y'all. Derogatory remarks, I don't have any. I don't have any collections or anything of that sort. Uh, credit age. Hard inquiries. I do have five and they're going to go more. So once again, I, I can't, you know, there's my car max, my capital one, my motive. That's when I first got denied. Um, for my car back in May, I went through CarMax and then I got approved by July. So those are my automotive, you know, and these drops off within two years and then they lose their um, potency over time. So which ones I'm about to have knocked off now? I'm about, oh, 2009. So come two months. These two are actually about to drop off, but I'm about to pick up a couple more inquiries anyway. So it's still going to look the same. So 
yeah i'm about to lose to and add to so this is about to ultimately stay the same so as of march 2nd and march 17th these two going to drop off but i'm going to have a probably another credit card inquiry oh um, no what's going to um happen is whenever i get my laser hair removal service because i've still been trying to search for somebody in fedville that's going to come up on here and then when I add the other trade line, that's going to come up on here. So that's what's going to replace these two. I'm not taking out for no more credit cards. Because it don't make no sense to get a credit card for two, three, four hundred dollars or a thousand dollars. And then I can, when I can get a trade line for five to ten thousand dollars. So I'm going to go for the trade line option and come back and tell y'all how that works out. But. And then on my TransUnion, I've only got three. So these are my inquiries right here from that. Credit age, two years, seven. And you know, I ain't going to, it's going to be a long time before I get to this five to six year one, honey. So I can't affect that except for wait for time. The most that I can do is keep myself with no derogatory you know reporting uh get my credit card usage together which i'm paying that down and then my payment history the only way i would be able to successfully combat this is if i was to get like a a loan so yeah and but still the fact that it's at 90 percent alone and with the pay because this is divided into 120 payments so it's like, how how would I get something to offset something like that? So this is the what's really been hurting me. And then I contacted Neonet and they don't want to remove it because they said since I wasn't in school, I wasn't part of the service, since I wasn't a teacher, um, they can't remove the late payment off my darn gone credit report. So that's the single thing that has been solely hindering me is this right here, this payment history. And like I said, when y'all look at my payment history, this is the only thing that's on my report that's darn going affecting me. And y'all see the formulation of how they do it, over 120 possible payments. So even if I was to try to get a, a loan or something, I don't know if it would make much of an impact in regards to this situation. So the only uh, things I really have affected over is my credit card, keeping this at zero, this over time so these are only three that i really have any control over so and that's why i'm really hoping for you know president biden to go ahead and do away with student loans because this will eradicate most of this right here soon as those drop off my credit report this drops off Honey, I do better. Now, most people be afraid because once the student loans are off their credit report, it drops their score because it lowers their overall mix, uh, credit mix. But the thing is this, I already have enough successful mix of other items going on. I have a car. I have credit cards. I have trade lines. I can easily pick me up a loan and put this over here in this section, and then I will have a good mix. And then when I get into my house, I'm going to um, have another installment loan with, you know, my furniture and stuff. So I will have enough, you know, mix of, you know, installment loans and credit cards to, to offset the this student loan. Because like I said, they don't want to take into consideration the hardship that I was going through during the time that i i had those missed payments and that's what's been affecting me all these years but yeah that is it y'all um if y'all have any advice feel free to leave it down below um feel free to like comment share and subscribe and i will see y'all soon with more videos Mwah.